Now we want to add some highlights and some shadows. This is where your blending techniques come in. But before we do that, we will need to rasterize your layer. Notice how your layer thumbnail has this little icon next to it. That means that it is still a shape, which means when I come over to my shape tool, I can do things like change the color or give it a stroke, but we are going to rasterize it. So I will no longer be able to do that. So make sure you have the right color before you begin with this step. Now to add your tints and shades, you are gonna use a gradient, but before you start doing the gradient, you have to make sure that you have the part selected that you want to gradient. Because if I do this right now, it's just going to go over the whole thing. And that's obviously not what we want. So your gradient is up here in the option bar. If you click on that icon, you should get this nice little dialog box that we talked about in the last episode. And you might have an idea for what you're gonna do but I am gonna talk about a couple new things. We're gonna start with black. So if you double click in that little box, it will give you this color picker dialog box and select black and press enter. Now, the other part, the other side, we wanna have it transparent, which means that it doesn't have any color to it. And notice how up here you've got boxes too. So if I click on that box, you'll see this change right here. The opacity means how transparent it is, right? So right now the black is 100%, so it's gonna give you the full opacity. And on this other side, notice how this one is white. So this one means that it is zero transparency, so you don't get any color here. But look at the middle, because the middle has a little bit of red in it, and that's because of this little box right here. So if you click on this box, you should be able to come over here and select the color, and then it will blend from your black over to your tan color, and then into completely transparent. And that's what we are looking for. Press Enter to begin. So we need to select your face. Press W to get your magic wand, and click and then you can go back to your gradient by pressing G and drag that gradient into this side of the face. We're going to say that there's a highlight right over here. And when you are adding your gradient, you wanna pull from pretty far out. And I'll show you why. If you start right here and go in, gives you this really almost solid line here and we are not looking for that. We want something very gradual. So you wanna start from way far back. If you start from right on the edge, it'll get you really black, and that's not really the point for what we're trying to do today. We just want it to be very slight, just a little shadow on the face. A little bit more, perhaps, from the bottom. You can do this as many times as you want to to get the effect you're looking for. If you feel like your emoji needs more shadow, you can pull farther and it'll give you more shadow. I'm actually gonna leave it like that. I think it looks pretty good. Now for your highlights, move on up to your gradient bar again. And this all looks really good, except for we're going to change from black to white because we want a tint on that side of the face. Everything else should be right because you've got the color that you need right here. So press enter and we can add some highlights. Over here, click and drag. And again, it really doesn't matter how much light that you have. You just wanna make sure that you don't get a line right there. So nice long sweeps with your gradient. Like so. And once finished here, you can move on to adding the neck to your emoji.